Right, Carl, I'm sorry, I've not seen these boots. Hello, look at these. Gold. There we go. Look at those. What's up guys, Tom here from the Football Boots team and today we have an exciting new custom video for you guys and you may be able to guess what's going on by the boots I have in my hand but I don't know if you will be able to. So today we are making one of a kind boots that were released to nobody but the players that got them. So I have the Hyper Venom here, this is going to turn into Harry Kane's gold boot that he got given for getting top goal scorer at the World Cup and then I have a pair of Mercurials and now these are going to turn into Luka Modric's boots that he got for winning the best award and of course there was that picture that went round of the first original silver Mercurial and then there's also the black and gold ones that he wore on pitch So we're going to make all three of these boots today. Let's get into it Make sure you don't miss out on all of our latest content turn on notifications and make sure you're subscribed Now we're going to be looking at transforming this Mercurial Vapor into Modric's silver first release that he got for the best awards now these boots haven't actually been seen on pitch yet don't know if we will ever see them don't know if Modric doesn't like them or whatever he wore the black gold versions when he actually stepped out on pitch so we're going to be making them as well but to start with now we're making the silver ones so as always first things first laces out so we've got a metallic silver spray paint here and we are just going to cover the whole boot with this So there we go, silver base coat done and as usual we'll leave this to dry now and then we will come back to it. So let's get started on the gold Harry Kane boot. Now obviously this is going to be turning an all over gold colour but before we can get into that we first have to take these laces out. Now with the laces out we can get on to spraying. Moving Harry Kane's gold boot aside. So on to the Modric Black Gold Custom now, which we have actually seen on pitch. So this is the boot that he has worn. He hasn't worn that silver one on pitch, but we're gonna make the gold to black fade boot now. So to start with, simply, we're just gonna get rid of these red details, orange details that are already on this material by just giving it a black coat. Now we don't have to be worried about getting this coat perfect, it is simply to just cover up those orange details as the majority of this boot is already black. And then that sole plate upwards is going to turn into a gold fade. So first thing to go gold obviously is the sole plate. We just want to let that fade come a little bit up the boot. So there we go, we've got that black to gold fade looking very nice, moving up from the sole plate. Quite happy with how that turned out, so once again we'll let that dry and then we'll come back to it. So the first coat of spray is done on each of these boots and I think they're starting to look sick. But before we can do anything else I need to cover them with a clear sealer just to protect that finish before we put tape or anything else on these boots, so that's what I'm going to do now. Alright, back over onto the Modric, the best boot now, and I think we're up to the hardest part of this video, we've got to add that iridescent sort of greeny effect to the boot, but as you guys can see in the pictures, there is a Nike swoosh that stays silver underneath all of that. So what I'm going to do is use this swoosh, which we took off Harry Kane's boot, I'm going to make a outline, rough outline of it, cut it out, and then we'll look to stick it onto the boot on the side along with adding sort of the lines and the effects so that sort of cut up the boot and that iridescent effect. So let's get into it.
as you can see, we are back outside now. I'm going to try and put this greeny sort of touch on the top of the silver modric boot. Alright, I think we'll leave it like that and see what it comes out looking like. Alright, so we're inside now and it's time to start adding some little details to the Harry Kane gold boot. And first things first, we've got to take off these taped swooshes to see how they held their shape. So yeah, that first swoosh is looking pretty good. Obviously we're going to paint this black, so we'll leave that there and move on to the other one. Alright, and there's the other one off. Now that's looking good as well. All I've got to do now is get this black Angelus paint and a paintbrush and I'm going to go around and paint this area in black. Alright, moving on to the Modric black gold boot. Now, the one he's actually worn on his feet, and we need to add that black sluice with that white outline on that lateral side of the boot. So I'll leave that to dry now, possibly touch it up a little bit afterwards. So here it is with the iridescent green all sprayed on it. It's time to take that tape off and see how it is looking. I'm really interested to see how well this tape has preserved the lines. So there it is, that has come out looking very cool. Alright, so the last thing to do with spray is to make the tongue of this Harry Kane gold hypervenom we need to make that black so we're just going to spray it over nice and easy obviously got this plastic bag protecting the rest of the gold boot there you go as easy as that back on modric's black gold it is time to add the last piece of detail for this boot and that is that little triangle on the back of the heel with the croatian flag in it to do this simply going to paint the triangle on and then add the red flag And we're looking to add that really light English flag on the outside of the boot. I don't know if you can barely see that on camera, but there is now that light sort of white English flag on the outside of the boot. They look awesome. Right, Colm, so I've not seen these boots. Yeah, so the start question off, is, yeah, go what on. one? Maybe start off with, save your, save your favourite to the last. So we got Ooh. one cane boot, two Modric boots. I don't know what one my favourite is. Alright. I might go Modric, cane, Modric. Alright. Here's the first one. Hello, look at these. All right, so these are based on the ones that he's been wearing. Black, gold, Croatian flag on the heel. That's it. All right, well. Probably the most simple one out of the three. But look very decent. Good. I'm a big fan. All right. All right. One. Kane then. Gold. There we go. It's got the England flag going through here. Very nice indeed. Loving that, loving that. All right. Last so these got two gold ones and the next one's gonna be this is the hardest one to recreate. Woo! Look at those. 
never being seen anywhere. These not even being held by Modric. I'm loving the um, the tape design here and the way that it's come off. Awesome. Look at that. One of a kind football boots. Nice work, Tom. Right, guys. So we want to know what one is your favourite. There is a poll card right there now. Choose. You got um, gold canes, gold Modrics, or silver so green. Tom, which one is your favourite out of these? I actually don't know, um, but I like the effect of the silver Modrix and yep. the iridescent effect, and it's kind of different to black gold boots, which we've seen before, so I think I'd go with that one. What right. about you? Uh, yeah, it's a very tough choice. Um, I like the canes. I I like these a lot because I think they look a lot like what Modric has been wearing on pitch, and I really like the little Croatian detail on the heel. So guys, I think that is my favourite. If you want to see another custom video, we made these boots for Ronaldo. Go click on the link and watch that video now. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching. Go enjoy your football.